One of the properties of electromagnetic waves is that they can carry energy. And the rate of energy transferred by an electromagnetic wave per unit area is given by something we call the pointing vector. The pointing vector is a vector that is formed from the cross product of the electric and magnetic fields. And as you know, the cross product of the electric and magnetic fields tells you the direction of the velocity of the electromagnetic wave. So the pointing vector is a vector, and it's a vector that points, that travels in the direction of the electromagnetic wave. What this means is that the pointing vector allows or is a measure and a representation of how an electromagnetic wave transfers energy. If we were to calculate the magnitude of the pointing vector, we would get the rate of energy transfer per unit area, which is in the units of watts per meter squared. So that magnitude is equal to the product of the magnitudes of the electric and magnetic fields over the permeability of free space. And as you know, the magnitude of an electric field is directly proportional to the magnitude of the magnetic field of an electromagnetic wave, which means we can express the pointing vector in terms of the electric field if we introduce the speed of light constant, or we could even express it in terms of the magnetic field if we wanted to express the electric field in terms of the magnetic field. With this, we have the intensity of an electromagnetic wave. Now recall, intensity is defined as the average rate at which energy is transferred per unit area and the rate at which energy is transferred, we just call that power. So power over area gives us intensity. Now, when you average the magnitude of the pointing vector over one oscillation of the electromagnetic wave, that happens to be equal to the intensity of the wave, given by one half times the speed of light the permittivity of free space, and the magnitude of the amplitude of the electromagnetic wave squared. Let's apply these ideas with an example. A sinusoidal electromagnetic wave from a radio station passes perpendicularly through an open window that has an area of 0 0.500 meter squared. At the window, the electric field of the wave has an amplitude of 0 0.0400 volts per meter. How much energy does this wave carry through the window during a 30 second commercial? Well, let's turn to our whiteboard to work this example. Let's start off by drawing our window. Here is our window. This window, window has an area of 0 0.500 meters squared. Let's depict the electromagnetic wave passing through the window. Here is our wave represented by the oscillation of the electric field. Our wave is traveling along the x direction, so the electric field oscillates in a direction that is transverse or perpendicular to the direction that the wave travels. Now for practice, let's go ahead and sketch the magnetic field. We know the magnetic field oscillates with the same frequency as the electric field, but it's perpendicular to the electric field in its oscillations. So as the electric field oscillates up and down, the magnetic field oscillates towards us 
and away from us. So we will have the axis of oscillation for the magnetic field will be the z-axis, and the axis of oscillation for the electric field is the y-axis. And we have, this is now depicting our electromagnetic wave traveling to the right. We are given that the amplitude of this electromagnetic wave is 0 0.0400 volts per meter. And we want to know how much energy this wave carries through the window in 30 seconds time. So remember, an electromagnetic wave carries energy. And the pointing vector gives us a way of, of determining, determining the rate at which this electromagnetic wave carries energy per unit area. So that's given to us by the average pointing vector. The, the pointing vector averaged over one oscillation is the power of our electromagnetic wave per unit area. And remember, this is given to us as one half times the product of the speed of light, the permittivity of free, free space, and the amplitude of the electro of the electric field squared. Now recall that power is equal to the time rate of change of energy transferred into or out of a system. Now from this expression up here, we know that power can be expressed in terms of the average pointing vector times the area. So let's place that right here. The average pointing vector times the area is equal to the time rate of change of the energy transferred, in this case, through our window. So if we integrate both sides with respect to time, we end up with an expression of energy is equal to the time derivative of the product of the pointing vector and the area through which the pointing vector is carrying that in energy over our interval of time. Now remember, the average pointing vector is just one half times the product of the speed of light, the permittivity of free space, and the amplitude squared of the electric field. We'll use this expression by putting it inside the integral in place of the average pointing vector. Now notice, one half is obviously a constant, the speed of light is a constant, the permittivity of free space is a constant, the amplitude of the electric field is constant, and the area of the window is constant. Since all of those things are constant, we can pull them outside of the integral, leaving us with just an integral of dt. Well, remember, the integral of d anything is just itself, basically. So the integral of dt is going to end up being t, evaluated from t naught to t, or Quite simply, this ends up being the interval of time in which that electromagnetic wave is transferring energy through the window. So here's our expression for the energy transferred. Now all we have to do is substitute in the values that we know for our quantities. The speed of light is 2.9979 times 10 to the 8th 
meters per second. The permittivity of free space is 8.854 times 10 to the minus 12 Newton meter squared per coulomb squared. Oh, I think I might have that backwards. I believe that is coulomb squared per Newton meter squared. The amplitude of the electric field is 0 0.0400 volts per meter. This is quantity squared. The area of the window was given as 0 0.500 meters squared, and the time interval was 30 seconds. So let's cancel out some units. We have a meter squared here, canceling with a meter squared there. Remember, a volt is a joule per coulomb. So here I will put a joule per coulomb in for volts. And notice we have a coulomb squared canceling with a coulomb squared. If you recall, a joule is a newton meter. So this newton, this meter cancels with the meter here, and we are left with newtons squared there. The seconds cancels with the second. This newton cancels with this newton. And notice the only units we have left is the newton per meter, which is a joule, which is a joule. When we plug this into our calculators, we end up getting that the energy transferred through that window in 30 seconds time by that electromagnetic wave is equal to 3.19 times 10 to the minus 5 joules.